Alright, what's going on, gamers? We're back at it again. Alex, better known as Google Tricks, coming at you with the, what I assume is to be the final bit of this little three-part trilogy. Um, yeah, we're just going to go through the three newest songs from the movie plus the game, this one right here. Um, coming at you a little bit later than when the movie released on the 20th. Uh, mainly because the game came out, I believe, June 2nd, and I can probably look that up. Yeah, so it came out yesterday, and I assumed... I was basically looking at Spotify to see if uh, any new stuff would drop from the Nakano gamers. Um, to no luck, which is alright. And I was mainly coping for um, an ending for the game, which I assume there is an ending for the game, it might just not be released. Um, and obviously in the West, I can't pick up the game, unfortunately, so I am doomed to be sad. But it is what it is. Um, so yeah, uh, I guess we'll get on with the three, and then I have an included um, soundtrack that we'll listen to. Well, the soundtrack, I don't know what, what the fuck does that mean. Um, <laughs> it's basically just like a little edit um, from a pre-existing song with some very nice visuals, which we'll have a little listen to, and maybe I'll throw it up on the ranking. Um, as far as the ranking go, uh, I had to remake the um, tier list itself a little bit. Um, not by much, though. I just had to basically reformat it again, because I couldn't add like certain images and stuff again, so I mucked up and uh, basically remade it. But I think everything should be good. I just edited the title. Um, I don't think I edited anything here. Um, it just might be that the link is different and other stuff. But I also found out you could make landscape. Um, yeah, that's landscape, right? Portrait is the one where it's like a rectangle going sideways. Um, so on the y-axis, yes. Uh, so I included those, and it looks a little better, I guess. It doesn't really look like album art, but... Like, you know, square album art. But I think this works considering I'm basing it off of uh, pictures right here. Um, so a bunch of these uh, pics that I just picked up off the interweb. So yeah. Um, so that's that. If you want to screenshot and see what picture means what, I think I've uh, <laughs> explained it here decently. Um, I like this a lot. I like this picture. I couldn't. Some of these I couldn't find. Like, I wish I could find a version of this that didn't have like the movie text on it. Same with this game one. I wish that could like get the fuck off the screen, but it is what it is. Um, it's not that big of a deal, so I thought I would include it. So, um, and also I wanted the the insert movie song. Um, I don't know why I thought this song. So this song is sung by Yours Truly right here, which is pretty poggy pog. I haven't seen the movie obviously, but I know she does a super idol. Um, thing in the movie which is pretty cool and I'm guessing that's where it comes from um, I don't know why the uh, YouTube video uploaded by the guy we've uh, been I guess procuring them from uh, Gasel, Gasel, Kuhn um, I don't know why I didn't use a Nino picture but it is what it is I'll just cry myself to sleep at night knowing that that's the truth so um, to give a rundown uh, quickly before we go through them uh, I I did move a few songs around as well. Um, I think Stupid Girl, uh, I moved down a little bit. Um, but that might be the only one that like really got... I, I don't know if Five Equal Brides was in B tier 2, but I moved a couple songs around just because I wanted to declutter the S rank. Um, and I, I think I added a C rank too, so I just threw some stuff down there to mix things up a little bit, um, to give it a bit of a uh, spread so S rank wasn't gigantic. Because with the landscape stuff, it like really makes it look even bigger. So um, we'll go through all these, I guess, on prelim or let me let me say what I was gonna say before I just cut myself off so rudely. Um, so we're gonna go uh, basically in order uh, as they should be. First with the ending song, um, which I believe, yeah, this one is called "Thank You Flower." Arigato no hana. Um, so we'll listen to that one first, then we'll move on to Love Vacation by Ayane Takasu, um, Tate, Take Tatasu, yes, Nino's voice actress, um, which is very interesting. I'll be very interested to see if I like that one or not. Um, and then finally we'll end with Kimi no Ega Moni Daigara, um, 
which I have high hopes for. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, and hopefully audio will be good. Um, obviously, I did want to try a new microphone today. I have a new microphone that's wireless, um, but I opted not to just because I, I think that microphone is decent, but it picks up a little too much, um, which might not be the case in OBS just because of uh, settings and filters I've put in. But I, I don't know. I don't know. And I didn't care to plug it in. And I didn't know if wireless would be better than wired, so... I don't really care. As long as it works, don't... If it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's what I'm saying. So anyway, uh, I guess we'll get on with it without making this video too long. Um, and yeah, I think we'll listen to most of these in their fullest version, which will probably screw the <laughs> copywriting of this video, but I don't give a shit, bro. Um, please, please, TBS Animation and uh, Pony Canyon. Don't, don't fuck me, bro. Um... Yeah, anyway, we'll just go through these four, um, and then it'll be a wrap until Quintessential gets more or is donezo. Um, I guess just as an aside before we continue forward, um, this is kind of the end of Quintessential Quintuplets with the movie, and presumably the last game that they'll make. Um, but if more comes, maybe I'll make more videos, but again, this is probably just tentatively the last one of these I'll do. Um, not to say I will never listen to these music tracks again, they're literally riddled in my Spotify playlists, but, uh, yeah, thought I would just say that. Um, but still, uh, as an add to the quintessential quintuplets, it's still a great show, experience, manga, any of the above, feel free to give it a try. I would highly recommend the anime, though. The first two seasons are on Crunchyroll, I don't think, I mean, if you have Adblock, here. We'll, we'll, we'll quickly do this because it's, it's fun, but um, yeah, so you can watch it all on Crunchyroll. If you have Adblock, um, you can watch it to your heart's content, so I'd highly advise it because it's a really good show. Um, I think it's maybe um, underlooked just because it's five women, you know, five women with the boobies, dude. Holy shit, but it's more than that. That's all I'll say about that, so anyway. Um, it still is about that, but it's also not about that. So, anyway, we will get on to the songs now, and, uh, yeah, hope I will enjoy them, I guess. Um, we'll see. Let's go. Sounds a little familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> interesting, interesting. I just wanted to point that out. I think it's, uh, the background music might be a stupid girl OST, which is interesting. Very interesting. It's like a different version of it.
Okay. Um, hmm. Interesting. Um. Boy, oh boy. That's a toughie, bro. I, I'm, I'm gonna, oh boy. I think I'll put it like that. Yeah, I think it's going into the top of B tier, personally. Um, honestly, I didn't have high hopes for the ending song. Most of these ending songs, which, I mean, a couple of them are pretty good. Like, let's see, I, I'm trying to remember which ones are which now. Um, I think this one is Sign. This one's Hatsuki. The endings tend to not be my favorites. Um... Just because they're not as... They don't go wild, I guess. Um, I don't know. Like, it's... It's fine. I just don't think it's, like, as hype as probably any of the other OP... Or, OP's endings. Well, except for uh, Summer Memories and uh, Gotoban no Ichi. Um, One-fifth. Um, I don't know. I want to... I want to like it more... And I, because the thing is, I remember I used to not like Hatsuki that much, um, which is the second season o or uh, ending. And I think as I listened to it more, I think I liked it more. But with this one, uh, let me preface too, this is the first time I'm listening to these songs as an FYI. I did like this song, just because it's Gotoban no, no Hayaname. Um, so of course I'm gonna like anything that they produce. I didn't listen to them though I just put them in the playlist and pretty much left them alone I don't know why I chose at this one. I won't listen to the full way because I definitely didn't but uh Yeah um, In general, I'd say it's good. It's just not what I'm looking for I guess in a AS or SS song. Uh, I did like that. They use like a more I don't know. I feel like it's a less orchestral version of Stupid Girl. I think it might only use piano in it. And I did pull up that Twitter video if you were watching the video then. Um, I was looking at Twitter and it looks like they posted a video of the creation of this song, maybe? Um, so that's interesting. But I think the problem with this song is that they may have taken away too many instruments from the original Stupid Girl OST. Yeah, so it's just like piano and I think a little bit of drum. And like, I I just don't think it's good enough, you know? Um, so, yeah. And then, if, like, the singing's good, but I don't know. I think the singing could be more, like, emotional. Like, it doesn't feel very emotional compared to something like Kiseki, right? The OP of this movie. Not to say it's not emotional, it's just like, it's not, yeah, I wanna, I wanna love it, but I also can't betray my sense of, uh, <laughs> connoisseur in these types of songs, so, I think I've ranted about that one, um, I'll try not to rant as much about these two, although I have higher hopes for these two, I didn't have high hopes for this one, I wanted to like Arigato Fla, or, thank you Flower, Arigato Hana, um, no Hana, but, uh, it's good. It's just not what I'm looking for. And I think that's perfect for top of B, essentially. So, um, yeah. Uh, liked it, but didn't like it enough. So, now we're going to go on to something that's probably going to be pretty wacko mode. Um, this is Nino's, basically her character song that I assume plays during the middle of the movie. Um, probably when they're all at the school festival, if you've read the manga. Um, or know what the hell's going on in the movie. Um... So yeah, yeah, I guess we'll just get on with it, and I will shut up and listen along.
Okay. Um. Hmm. Another interesting one for me, for sure. Um. As far as it pertains to Nino, I guess, in my mind, um, it kind of almost feels like her first character song a little bit, but a little bit, a lot better, actually. Um, less of that wild energy and actually, like, super idle to show, you know? Um, with that said, though, honestly, I don't think I can relegate it very high in the S rank. Actually? Oof. God damn, dude. I am I am not sure with this one. Um Uh I don't know if I like it more than two hearts as like a baseline as a Nino song. Um I probably don't like it more than open heart or any of the S ranks, honestly. So the question is, do I put it in A? Or do I put it even lower? <laughs> I'm trying to, like, think of it. Hmm. think I'm gonna put it there. <laughs> that does hurt me as a Nino fan, but honestly, I, I don't think I can put it higher than Hello My Dream or Hatsuki or Stupid Girl or any of the S ranks. It's definitely not an SS rank song, unfortunately. As much as I want it to be, I just don't think it's, like, perfect enough um, for my eardrums, so it just doesn't quite make the cut. Um, probably subject to change. After I listen to it about a thousand times, maybe I'll be like, Oh my god, it's the fucking best song SS ranked behind Minakaze. I don't know. But right now, I think it's pretty... <laughs> can't call it mid um I, I wouldn't really call any of these songs mid maybe except for like you and you and you i wouldn't really call any of these songs mid i just say they're um comparative to one another they're lower on the spectrum i guess and i don't use spectrum lately so yeah i think i'm gonna put it like that i do like this bit though she just starts spitting facts dude it's pretty nice um yeah, I think the only problem is, is that Nino's voice actress isn't... I don't want to say she's, like, not a good singer, but, like, you know, it's just, like, it's hard to do it good unless it's two hearts, you know? Um, so, I don't know. I want to like it again, but, I, you know... <laughs> it's funny, I didn't expect Kisaki, Gotoba no Kisaki, to be the best... Ugh, the beast... <laughs> The best song of these um, three. I, don't, I honestly didn't know there was even going to be an insert song. I was honestly just expecting an OP and an ED. So honestly, I can't complain with a three song blamma blamma. But, you know, it is what it is. I also remember back in the day, or back in the day, what? Before the movie released in, like, May? Um, or it released in May, but, like, in uh, the May-April time. I remember people were thinking that uh, Kori Kata... No Hana something or other? Where is it? I'm blind. Or Korikata no Gotoban. They thought this song was actually gonna be like the ending or the OP of the movie. Cause like this song had never been used for anything other than just being a song. Which is honestly quite cool and I hope they do more of these. FYI. If you're listening in Japan. Um, and you're not gonna make a continuation of the series. Just make more of these songs and I'd, I'd be pogging bro. Um, but yeah. I, I just thought I'd throw that out as a... Can I stop scrolling? Um, I just thought I'd throw that out there because I saw that as a odd fa yeah, fan theory where people thought that maybe that song would make some kind of weird return um, as a full-blown song in one of the movies. And honestly, I could have seen it, but at the same time, I wasn't too sure myself. So um, anyway, uh, that's my ranking for it. Wish it could be higher, but for now I can't really put it against like a lot of these songs in much higher places than it. So that's my opinion. Take it or leave it. Sorry, Nino. Um, my favorite Quint, but unfortunately you sometimes don't make the best songs <laughs> as uh, attributed to the you and you. So, oh well.
better luck next time, I guess, you know? At least we have an S rank, you know? <laughs> Bottom of S rank. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Anyway, um, we will continue on to Kimi no Ega Moni Taigara, um, the game OP, and we will listen to it and uh, figure out how good or bad it is. It's FYI, it's probably going to be pretty good. Um, I remember last time, I didn't put it back here, but I remember last time, just based on the start of it, um, it made me, I think, want to put it above at least this song, um, the first game's OP, uh, Minakaze. Um, so, we'll see. We shall see. Let us go. Okay, this is already starting off new. What the hell? Wedding music? Organ music? Organ trail? I don't know if the recording just caught... Oh, I just paused it right as the new stuff was coming on. Um, I don't know if I accidentally muted my mic when I was talking just then, but uh, I'll make it quick and brief. Um, basically, I wish I could screen grab this background, but I couldn't find it online anywhere, and I didn't want to screen grab it from the video because I, it just it wouldn't look as good. Um, and also, the uh, start of the song, uh, Certified Hood Classic, very good, very nice. Loving it so far. <laughs> You see how Nino's voice actress can actually spit facts, though? God damn, she just fucking went on a fucking. Ugh. Ichika also spitting facts.
Say it! Yes, sir! Wow. Wow. See, this is this is how you make a fucking heater, bro. God damn. All right. Well, I honestly want to say a lot about this song, but I think I'll make it pretty brief and say I like it more than uh, Gotoban no Kimochi, the first OP of the show. Um, that one, that one stings a little bit. To say that I like a song more than that, that isn't, you know, Pachi and Lesson 5, but honestly, this this song is surprisingly good. Um, for the second game's OP, like, bro, I don't even like the swimsuit designs of uh, this game. <laughs> As if that matters. Get out of here, Maroon 5, what the fuck? Um, like, come on, man, these, these swimsuits suck. But this fucking OP, man, uh, in these faces, and, oh my god, the burps, um, what was I saying? <laughs> uh, basically, I really actually do adore this song a lot, um, for lack of a better, uh, idea, I don't know, I, it's just so good, it's so high energy, so high octane, I love in these songs when the girls get the voice actresses get their own like little segments where they you know spit facts and shit like it it mimics a lot of what Gotama no Kachi um, has in its for formula if you will the formulation of a song and I honestly think it it takes the good from that song and does it pretty well again um, I will say too this song the background music definitely sounds very Kachi Esque with a little bit of remix something or other in there, um, but honestly, I do like it a lot. I will say I'm a, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of this song. Um, if you like the first OP more, be my guest. And if you like Minakaze more, sure. But I, you know, it's just like so damn good. It's like so good. It literally is Kachi 2.0 in all the right ways, minus the fact that it can't beat Kachi because that's like the best fucking song ever uh, I don't care if I have bias on that which I probably do um, it's just that good so yeah um, so I mean that's that's a wrap that's a wrap that's all the songs there aside from our little piece that we'll get here in a second but um, I think I do like this list I will say with time I have grown to like Kisaki a little bit more than I think I did on the first listen Honestly, I wouldn't mind putting it here. But I feel like by putting it there, it kind of devalues the other songs that I have here, which are just really, really good songs um, in their own respective ways. Kisaki is not a bad song. It's in the top of S for a reason. Um, I, I'm sorry. I'm just like, I'm defending the song because I know a lot of people like it, um, at least from what I've seen on Reddit and in general. Um, it, I don't know if it had high rankings on Spotify here. I guess I could also check the um, YouTube side of things as well. Like, did people listen to this song more than Kimi no Egamoni Gaigara? Yeah, by a big margin. Um, that might not be a high number right there, but that's definitely a number that matters, I'd say. Um, so I'm actually kind of surprised by that. That's a big jump what I thought, because these, all these songs, or no, I guess Kisaki did come out before Arigato Flower and, um, the insert song, Love Vacation, and, uh, Kimi no, I, actually, maybe Kimi no Ego Moni Daigara did come out, um, not too sure, actually, now, but, uh, let me go to Nakano, no, oh, yes, no, go back, go back, um, yeah, like, you see, you see, Kisaki and these are, like, trending, I guess, in the grand scheme of things. They just came out, so that's obviously why their uh, listens or plays or whatever are lower. Um, damn. What? Kimi no Ego Moni Daigara isn't even on here, bro. What? How many listens does it have? Whoa. Are you fucking kidding me? 
All right, well, clearly some people are just uncultured and they don't know how to use technology. So they obviously haven't heard the majesty of that song. But essentially, uh, it's it's up there in my book. Um, I guess as a last minute note, I don't think it, I don't think anything competes with Kachi aside from Lesson 5. These two are pretty much unrivaled in my mind. It's hard to like get a better song. I honestly could maybe make the argument in my mind to swap Lesson 5 um, for Kimi no Ega Moni Daigara. I like saying the full name, by the way. Sorry if that gets annoying, but um, I, it'll it'll probably grow on me more with time. Um, I don't think again. I don't think it's gonna be Kachi. Maybe it beats Lesson 5. That's a TLDR. I'll say. Um, but regardless, that's that's the list without my little inclusion song here. So uh, take it or leave it. <laughs> Honestly, I probably won't take it. I'll definitely, or I, I won't leave it. I will take it. Um, I'll probably move things around whenever I just feel like it. Because I, I do like looking at these songs retrospectively and being like, hmm, how do they compare with each other? Is Kore Kata really that good? And stuff like that. Um, which it is, by the way. Um, but, you know, I just, I just like thinking about these songs. I don't, like, I, I do like to rank them, because I think it's fun to rank them, but I also don't think it's fair to rank them in the same vein, because, like, you know, they're all good in their respective ways, and you just gotta pick out the part, <laughs> Jesus, the parts that are pretty good, um, that you like about it, and kind of cling on to it, and that's probably why I like this song the most, um, but, yeah. And then you have Stinkers. <laughs> and I'm sorry to these songs, but yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty rough. Maybe aside from um, Gotoban no Ichi, uh, that song's all right. It's just a little bit, a little bit rough because it's probably the worst insert song slash ending um, of any of the endings for that matter. So anyway, I'm gonna stop talking about my defense and offense against certain songs. Um, there's the list. Hope you like to listen to the songs. I guess feel free to continue listening to the songs and give Quintessential Quintuplets a try because it's a really good show. Um, so I guess with all that, I will let this... We won't listen to the full thing of this because it's agonizing to listen to, but it is a good watch, I will say. I do like the artistry, both in this song, in its vanilla form, and in the quintessential quintuplets form. Um, if you didn't know, this song... I'll quickly look it up. Gyari... Is it this one? Yeah. Um, made by a person that I've listened to on Spotify before, uh, Gyari. Um... It's a Vocaloid song, so it's probably not for everyone. I know people don't like Hatsune Miku that much, but uh, it's a good listen regardless. And I do I do appreciate the time and effort that probably... This is a repost, I'm pretty sure, too. This guy didn't make it. But it's a repost from um, a Japanese YouTube site. Um, it's just been reposted after reposted after reposted and stuff, yada, yada. I think he even says that in here, yeah. Um, but regardless, it's still a good listen and um, a good watch. So let's... Listen to about a minute 30, at least through the first verse, and then we'll uh, rank it, question mark? I don't know if I'll really rank it. Um, maybe I'll just think for a second where it could possibly land or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll listen and we'll decide. The main reason I threw it in here, though, is definitely for the art. Because I think the art is really clever and very uh, diverse, for sure. So. And as you'll see throughout it, as you watch it by yourself or listen to it, um, if you watch the video, that is, um, you'll notice that a lot of outfits are utilized in this, which is very fun. Like that, that was uh, Itsuki's episode one outfit. These are the summer festival season one outfits. I'll stop rambling now. Because I just love watching this. This is definitely one of those two where every time I watch it, I swear I find something new about the show, or like about an outfit from a park or something that I just, I adore it so much, so.
Oops, that's uh, <laughs> that's a song for you. Um, it's it's an okay song. I well no, I I mean this is personal preference obviously, um, but this song in general is actually a really nice song. Um, I like it a lot. I'll just for shits and gigs throw it in bottom of a. Um, it's a good song, and uh, again the artistry and. It, I think it's pretty pathetic that I could probably like pinpoint where every outfit comes from. Like, let's say, let's just like click on a random frame. Yeah, like as we were listening to this, this is from the uh, Sisters War arc where Nino pushes Miku into the water. Yeah, and then she drowns and dies for permanently good. Um, that's not true, but um, fun times, fun times. Yeah, it's just like I guess it's just a nostalgic watch for me, which is why I think it's. It deserves a spot in here, um, just because the artistry, I think, carries the um, fun of the song. So, thought someone was in my house, Jesus Christ. Um, I heard thudding behind me. Um, so anyway, um, I guess that's the final rank. That's uh, officially a wrap. Um, it's been a good time, uh, even though, oh, I, I just, I did not do that. I did not do that. What did, what did I just do? I don't want to mess up the order. Okay, please, fix. Okay, good. Um, so yeah. It's definitely like... It's gonna be tough to let go of this series, I guess, in general. Not that I really will let go. It'll be more of a passive infatuation, I guess, than a... Uh, um, aggressive or active one that I have right now. It'll just be relegated to passive. And I'll probably move on to other shows, but... I do like this show a lot. Again, if you haven't watched, please watch, because it's, it's so good. Even if you don't like it, I'm sure you'll at least get something intriguing out of it. For, for whatever that may be, I don't know. But um, Anyway, I feel like I had something else to say, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Nothing really matters here. We're all just talking about songs, tier lists, and waifus. So. Anyway, I guess I will uh, shelf this series for now. Um, continue to read the quintessential quintuplets manga i think i'm only on like um novel 5 out of 14 right now mainly because i've been reading uh five centimeters per second which i got from a library um and i have to read that in a couple of days because it's a due on the ninth so i have six days but i i only have like two chapters left so who cares um but anyway um as always links and such will be here um if you want to tier list yourself and tweet at me or tweet in general for funsies i don't know um up to you i don't really care it's my tier list have at it i don't care if you like or hate my opinions feel free to make your own that's the whole point of it um and yada 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 tier list babble blah blah blah, 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 blah. last second i'll show uh what songs are which here um yeehaw partner uh, and yeah, I guess we will uh, end it once and for all here. I'll stop mumbling for like 20 minutes or so. F 40 minutes? Oh my god. Okay, well. <laughs> I guess we'll end it here then. I'll let uh, Kimi no Egamoni ride me out, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye bye for now, baby.